Okay, what's up everybody and welcome back to yet another vlog. 2020 has really caught up quite quick with us. Many people have been asking why have I still been riding in some of my Katusha clothing. So the main reason is um, to, for them to send a lot of the stuff via our customs in South Africa is extremely costly if I can put it that way and um, time consuming. In other words, um, it might arrive there, they might request a lot of paperwork and you have to pay a lot of tax um, on those equipment and clothing and you probably end up not even getting it before you have to really go back um, because sometimes the system is quick but sometimes it's also really slow so it's really catch-22 um, so I decided not also to not bring my bike with because then I would have been traveling with three bikes. A little bit all too much and then I could probably have been riding in casual clothing if I wanted to but then um, you know maybe I wouldn't have liked the chamois and get saddle sores or all of that stuff but nonetheless it's not really that important I'll be wearing I'll be in my new clothes um, by Tuesday evening when I arrive in Spain because I'll be flying on Wednesday um, next week so really looking forward to that as well so lately i've been doing i'm back in pretoria i've been doing quite a lot of training in alspread we did everything from motor pacing lots of climbing uh anything you can and well not the only thing it doesn't have is uh, altitude but you do climb quite high up until it's a thousand five hundred meters yeah in pretoria it's a thousand five hundred meters though but there's no real climbs and the little climbs that they are are kind of flat and also it's quite dangerous training yeah especially with the cars and a bit of robbery as well but it is south africa so we don't expect anything else and i'm not being negative i'm just stating the obvious so as we left for oh so i wanted to share this with you as we left for pretoria um, from nalspray to pretoria um, once again, I did a small loop around the highway back onto a section of a, not really a highway, and a section back in the direction of Pretoria. So it makes, it cuts my time in the car by an hour and you're just more efficient because you're ready so far and your training's done. So you don't have to sit in the car, stress all day about the training that you still have to do. We all know that feeling. So there's a bit of that riding and enjoy it. Let's take a go. Let's go. Just check out this beautiful scenery here in Alstrait. Could be a loss of it. Leaving Alstrait today, it's a Friday. So I'll be in Pretoria for the weekend, which is presumably more safe for training, less traffic, and packing up our final stuff for before we head to Spain. Uh, gonna miss these people here in Alstrait, but all good things come to an end, huh? Okay. Thank 
Stoke. Okay, so this is we're getting in the car. We're heading off to Pretoria right now. We we'll just get back, travel dirty, and shower there. Get that day going. Okay, so yeah, this morning again, that 150 kilometers, more or less five hours. Been feeling a little bit under the weather, so I might do another long ride tomorrow and then take a day or two off. Okay, what's up everybody? About 135 kilometers into this Saturday morning's ride, Giant Pretoria, and uh, it's been a good one. Uh, quite quick, 34, 35 k's an hour average so far. You can check it out on my Strava today. And I'm uh, quickly out to do a fat check. Um, I'm a bit under the weather lately, so I'm gonna have to rest up a little bit quite soon. Okay, so just did a fat test job. Well, not a fat test, fat measurements, um, and uh, see how it looks. So I can explain to you how far I'm off from race weight and Volta Valencia, which is in more or less 20, 25 days time, and uh, it's getting quite close now. And uh, dieting, training, and all those small things are getting quite serious. Kilo. And be well rested for my flight so my immune system isn't down too much because you really need your immune system to be strong when you take these long haul flights which is probably a total travel time of about 20 hours i'll be flying via italy to valencia so i'll be starting my season in valencia and uh yeah much warmer conditions and i'll be starting with the training camp on the 20th of january in almeria with the team and it will be the first time where I meet some of the guys. I um, already have a friend, Nicolas Sessler, who stays with me in Valencia. And also our mate, uh, Sergio Igovita, who, would be, who will be riding for EF Education. Already last year, halfway through the year, he was going so well, he already started riding for them immediately. And he'll be also living in Valencia, so he'll be, proud, be part of the Gruppetto de Valencia. Yeah, that's basically all. Um, this is simply just to keep my vlogs a little bit updated and I'll show you the new bike and also like to show you one of my first bikes I ever started riding which was my father's and I started building it up and it's back to functionality now so once again thank you guys for tuning in and I hope that you enjoy the vlog. Oh yes guys please remember if you like this channel please share, like, comment it really helps my channel grow and it helps me a lot and it also keeps me motivated to continue doing the work um, it takes to make these vlogs. Um, it is a bit time consuming, especially because it's time based. I'm a running gun videographer, photographer, whatever you want to call it, um, trying to be a professional cyclist as well. 
so it's not really always that convenient but I know you guys enjoy the footage at times not everything I shoot might suit your taste but at least there's some of it so thanks again for the support guys